Welcome back. Now, if you're looking to kick back and relax with a nice cold beer this weekend, we've got you covered. We are. With the warmer weather finally here, we're looking at some of the best summer beers on the market. And apparently this year, it's all about tropical flavoured beers that are packed with flavour but aren't overly bitter. And joining us now is beer expert Susan Boyle. Good morning to you, Susan. Good morning, morning. Susan. 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 Big beers. These, yes. though, are summer beers that are brewed with the same kind of quality that you want with an IPA, light and refreshing instead of being oh, heavy. Lovely. So this is lovely. It's perfect really summer nice. sipper. Little bit of oats in yeah. the mash blend there, which Mango-ish, makes it kind of creamy. Kind of. Yeah, mango, a um, little bit of pineapple, those kind of lovely things. So. Oh, the yeah. food would have really been really refreshing. Best isn't it? Oh, I think this is great. Like, well, on the can, they say that this is just perfect with sun and friends. Barbecue. And then they're like, and anything else yeah. that you can put with it would be great too. It's, it's made host? out in Host Junction, yeah. Come yeah, on the really notes, good. Yeah. This is, this, these well. are my favourite kind of beers now, Susan. This is summery, full of flavour. Any time yeah. of year, it's Oh, no, they're great. great. Like, and delicious. it's really nice. What's nice about yeah. this is a little lower in alcohol than you would expect from an IPA, so coming in at about 4.5, so you can have a little bit more. But nowhere near as heavy in taste as a normal IPA. and not bitter. So, what they're looking for in all of these beers are hops that bring uh, flavour and bring that kind of tropical aspect but not that heavy bitterness that gets stuck in the back of your throat. Yeah. So yeah. these are just and delicious. price point on them? Um, price point, I think this is 4 50 Very Should good. be running along at the bottom of the screen well, but I, I can't see that when we're outside. 3, 3 20, <laughs> 3 20. for the, the 500 mils uh, Susan, there. I love this next one, especially the story behind the yeah, yeah, This is super cute. So this is from Dot Brewing and Dot Brewing are a gypsy brewing company. So what they do is they don't have their own brewery. Instead, they borrow other people's breweries ah. and they go and make gorgeous beers Is that there. a thing? A gypsy? A gypsy brewer. Yeah, so there's lots of great Thank people you. who have their own brewery, and then there's Thank lots you. of inventive Moss. brewers who would like to brew but don't necessarily Sounds have like their own. Sounds like an old folk song, isn't it? All oh, the gypsy, the gypsy brewers. Brewer. Yeah. yeah. So this is from town. Shane, who's um, who from Dot Brewing, and this is brewed in 12 Acres, which is a brewery just in Leash. This is again really tropical. But what's so doughty, I think, about this mm, is the nice. artwork on the can. So uh, Shane has two kids, and they did all the squiggles and gorgeous painting that is on it. Not the intricate inside the middle bits, but all the rest of it. So there's kind of kind That's of family lovely. connection. If you look at Actually, the, the, the beer aisle in your local off license, mm-hmm. it is like works of art. Absolutely. The cans yeah. are just brilliant to, to yeah. even look at. For and what we're doing here is when we look at these like four uh, 40 mil cans as well, you just have scope to make them look absolutely gorgeous. So even with this, um, with the dot brewing, it like becomes like a trip dish. It's like three pictures in yeah. one, depending on which side the can is on. It's really it's cool. brilliant. It's than the very clever. One. Yeah, so this is, you've got more hops as well mm-hmm. in this. So you're kind of getting that texture from the hop profile as well. A little bit of oats and a little bit of rye in this as well. And that gives a little bit of spice. It's even smoother. Than the first one. It's yeah, smoother, it's just, but not quite as fruity as the yeah, first one. Yeah, quite, not quite as light and fruity. So as well, when I'm trying with the tasting here, when we're tasting them side by side, what I'm looking for is to start off with something that's really easy going, yeah. light, yeah. refreshing, something that has a little bit more body and texture, and then something that is a little bit more going on as well at the end. So okay. That's a bit stronger a, as well, that. Mm. It is, yes. Yeah. So we're going up in alcohol as well. Will so I be you get that on again? Oh, well, I do you know, be Let me for this one. I might as well do something when I'm here, you know. Keep my job going. <coughs> so this is from Rye River Brewing. The um, there, these, um, this it's brewery so. is probably better known for uh, their Magargles range. Um, so that's the one that you kind of see most often from them. Um, but this beer is their Miami J IPA. So again, summer Miami IPA. IPA. Um, so they've been bringing Thank out a you. number of seasonal beers, and this is just a delicious, refreshing, gorgeous, Smells really great. tropical. Great, the it? smell on this is lovely. They should make perfume yeah. out of this. This should be the yeah. thing that they do. Yeah. You stink a beer. I know. <laughs> and the it's Miami nice. aspect things that kind of smell like kind of orange zest, orange peel, those kind of nice, nice flavours oh, going on. That's, that's lovely. A, that's how good and it a is, bit of it? sweetness as well, the malt blend. Not, that not is very tasty. Definitely my favourite. Oh, citrus. Citrus. Yeah, citrus. yeah, totally citrusy. Yeah. So this is what you're looking for. Something that you want to come back and drink again and again and again and enjoy in the sunshine. Oh, we're yeah. just friends and um, and something lovely to as well. And a fork. We're doing urban chic here this morning. Alcohol content on this is a little bit higher as well. We're going up to, I will have to refer six to my own, six and a half, I think, what? with this. So you're going to have to oh, take so handle with bit, care on that yeah, one. Yeah, a little bit slower. But I it's like really well balanced, yeah. which is what you've got. So you, you have that malt one? blend that brings a kind of sweetness, and then the alcohol kind of just makes it all kind of work For you, which the, forklift, the forklift is bringing pallets of that last one. I hope so. That's why I said the last one. One, two, or three. Last one. Three. 
the last one. <laughs> Sorry, that was Lara. the thing. One. One. Yeah. Three. Three, 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 three wins. Three. Well, well I can't choose because I think they're all fantastic. You're picking between a really nice bunch of people. Yeah, really 